Tomorrow night, Allegiant Stadium opens preseason football action for the Las Vegas Raiders. They're hosting Seattle, the Seahawks, for the first time. Raider Nation will get to be inside. Fans, though, if you're going, make sure the silver and black you're there at least three hours before kickoff. Hector Mejia live at Allegiant Stadium to explain how the stadium is going to deal with another round of traffic and parking issues. Hector, good morning. Yeah, an exciting weekend, but we also have those issues we've been seeing for weeks. That advisory about arriving at least three hours early posted on the Raiders' website. It also has sort of an hour-by-hour -hour guide telling fans 2 o'clock is when the parking lot's open. Then at 3 o'clock, that's when the VIP entrances, along with the general admission gates open. Kickoff, 6 o'clock in the evening. And also, it'll be game time for the parking issues. Allegiant Stadium's last major event came to town. Uh, when the last major event came to town was the Gold Cup Final. That was earlier this month with over 61,000 fans. Many said they ran into parking and traffic issues. And those major problems we also saw during the Garth Brooks concert back in July. Now, the stadium area is represented by Commissioner Michael Naft, who says the stadium is working on it. They've been making changes to traffic control, signage, and how they're communicating with people who come down here. But fans from previous events were left with a sour taste with the stadium's traffic nightmare. It just did seem like they were just woefully underprepared to handle um, a group of people that large, which is just really absurd. We got out on the freeway and started walking to the event center. It took, it was about two miles. I saw actually two ladies have to be taken by stretcher, walked to an ambulance because they were passing out from the heat. Well, since the Garth Brooks concert, Commissioner Michael Naft said they moved the rideshare lot to the other side of the stadium. They added signage at other places, and they improved the water stations along the Hacienda Bridge, which is open right now, but will close for foot traffic tomorrow. He said they also added misters and shade for staff. And also, remember, if you're coming to the game tomorrow, masks are required inside, regardless of vaccination status. That's also posted on the Raiders' website. Reporting live outside. At Allegiant Stadium, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now. And of course, on the other end of Hacienda, you've got the Las Vegas Strip where the big tailgate event's going to be in front of the Luxor. Um, so that's going to be a big event as well, Hector. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, sir. It's now 635. Now, during our Mornings with Metro segment this week, we spoke with Assistant Sheriff Andrew Walsh about the parking and the transportation at Allegiant. Here's what he had to say. Look, we understand how frustrating it is, you know, and uh, I think that with a lot of the uh, events we've already had, that you have a lot of locals that go, and we're used to locally being able to just pull up and go and park and go into wherever it is we're trying to get to. Uh, the other events, you know, if we have a mixture of uh, locals and tourists, it, it could change the dynamics of people trying to get there. But, uh, you know, in the, in the heat, you know, water, and if you, especially if you're walking, uh, we've seen some cases where people have become dehydrated while waiting to get into the stadium. So you have to take care of yourself in mm -hmm. this weather. And, you know, we know how warm it is here up until about October. So uh, it's important that the, everybody just comes prepared, have some water, uh, take your time, be patient. And if you can get there as early as possible, right. and, uh, but please don't think you're just going to show up, pull up, jump out of the car, and walk <laughs> in to the arena. It's not going to happen. And again, sort of the big pregame event's going to be over on the Las Vegas Strip in front of the Luxor, Mandalay Bay area. So, uh, meanwhile, here's a look at some of your options to get to Allegiant Stadium. Bus passes, $8. There are dedicated routes right to Allegiant from around the valley. Expect Uber and Lyft rides to be pretty expensive because of surge pricing. Stadium parking, if you can find it, $100. Now, Lyft is offering $10 off your ride to the game tomorrow. If you punch in the code RIDESMARTFANS as just one word, you'll get that $10 discount. The deal starts Saturday at noon tomorrow. The first 1,000 riders will get that discount. Well, Raider Nation will be in full force, as you would imagine, at Allegiant Stadium, and that includes Danny Neri and his 1967 gorgeous metallic blue Chevy Impala. Well, he's already been showing up to cheer on the team at training camp down in Henderson. The low rider, low, 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 bounces around. It's all decked out in Raider gear. Nary's been part of Raider Nation since the team called L.A. home, and he moved to Vegas to follow the team. 67 Impala convertible. It's a uh, blue, pearl, metallic. It's custom, as you can see, <laughs> you know. And like I said, I'm always coming out here to support my Raiders. What do you think of the Raiders this year? What do you think? Uh, 
I hope they do a lot better. I mean, they should. What? A lot of the new drafts that we got and the players we got. So I think we're going to do pretty good this year.